morning, AWM fam. Hope you guys are having a beautiful day. So today is Thursday. So I'm not sure what the date is. Does it say it on my camera? Oh, it says it when I open it. Never mind. Um, but um, yeah. So today's Thursday. I'm getting ready to take Naraya to school. I wasn't gonna get ready. I haven't been feeling up to anything lately. I have been really drained, fatigued, tired, and yesterday I felt really, really nauseous. Um, but it could be the, my lack of sleep because I have not been sleeping at all. I don't know why. I've just been waking up like around 2 a.m. and not being able to sleep. But last night was the first night I was able to sleep through the entire night. And I feel so much more refreshed. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to be lazy. I'm going to get up, do my hair, do my makeup, and finally dress decent when I take Naraya to school. So I'm going to go do that. And then I'm going to make some beef stew today because I don't know. I've been craving beef stew. And I'll probably put the recipe in here within the vlog so that way I can make the vlog a little bit longer. Also, check out my new video that I just posted. Um, it's a very emotional video if you guys haven't seen it. Um, very strong topic that is suitable for everyone. I know a lot of females go through this. So um, yeah, y'all asked for a story time. I gave you a story time. But um, yeah, so let's get right into the day. Why did you shut the door on yourself? I'm getting ready. I don't know what you're doing. You <laughs> don't go in the closet and lock yourself in there. That's what happens. You get stuck. <laughs> Are you okay? I told you to go play in the living room. I don't know why you don't listen to mommy. Instead, you locked yourself in the closet. No, I'm not going to baby you. That was your fault. I'm ready. Just, I feel good. I feel really good. I haven't got ready in a while, so I feel good. So it was, it was really weird this morning. We woke up to pouring, pouring, pouring rain. And I was like dreading having to take Naraya to school and just getting up like it was just oh my god so much rain it was really bad and now like i want to say around 10 o'clock 9 45 ish it's like super sunny outside it's freezing but it's super sunny and so yeah it's holy crap naraya we need to go oh my gosh i gotta take her to school guys see you in the next clip so I'm back from dropping Naraya off. I went to Dollar Tree and Save Mart. I went and bought beef broth and carrots because I need, I'm gonna make a beef stew inside of the um, pressure cooker. So that's how come I'm not like in a rush to make it. But um, I'm talking low because TJ's napping. Uh, but I went to Dollar Tree and I wanted to show you guys what I bought. I wanna do my nails and I know how to do nails so hopefully I still have it in me and I can do them, but um, I'm gonna try my best. And um, yeah, I went and got a Dr. Pepper though, cause I've been craving one. I'm gonna show you. So I have acrylic stuff. I've had it and I just hardly use it, so. And then I got these artificial nails at Dollar Tree. And then look. They have masks, face masks, two of them in for a dollar. Don't have enough liquid. Both of my glues are dried up. <laughs> and I had already picked out my sizes. I'm so sad. <sighs> so I'm going to go ahead and put the beef inside of the um i feel like these are huge pieces i may want to just like kind of chop it and then put it all in here but once i have the beef in there i'm going to add one teaspoon of salt 
one teaspoon of pepper, two tablespoons of garlic, and then I'm just gonna flake some parsley flakes on it. That's how that looks. Then I'm gonna add in the potatoes and mix it together. Actually, I'm gonna add in the potatoes and the onion. And after you mix it all up together, I am gonna add in the tomato. Since these carrots are already like soft and pretty much cooked, I am going to wait till the whole stew's over to put them in because they don't need to be in there. They're just gonna get really, really soft and squishy and I don't really like them like that. So I'm just gonna leave them out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in this can of chicken broth. I added three cups of water and then I'm gonna mix in one tablespoon of the gold metal um, flour so I did my own thing I didn't even read the instructions I forgot that there was a recipe for it and I guess it tells you right here that you need to brown it but this should be like a crock pot right because I could just throw this all in my crock pot and make it and put it on high for four hours so I'm not sure. I'm kind of scared because it says to brown it, saute and brown function. And then, I don't know. I'm kind of like scared. It should cook it, right? A crock pot would without having to brown the meat first. We'll see. It says 30 minutes. I don't know about that. Okay, so I hope it cooks. I didn't know there was a recipe. I was just making it like a crock pot and that's how I would do it if I put all of that in a crock pot. Oh, I really hope it does it. So it's all done. It, I taste the beef right now. The beef tastes so good. It cooked in like 40 minutes. I just added the carrots in so I'm gonna put it on keep warm. So I'm gonna have to go pick up Naraya right now. So here's Naraya's writing. Can you tell that she'll do like really good at the top? And then as you go down to the bottom, she just starts getting lazy and doesn't want to do it no more. That is her problem in life. I just said it! <laughs> she is lazy. But it's so cute. I can't wait to look back at this video a couple years from now and see how her writing looked. So I'm gonna go and pick Naraya up from school right now. Uh, I always try to pick her up at the time she gets off, only because she's only there for three hours. And this little girl, like, every time I pick her up, she wants to stay longer to play. And then I go and pick her up right at the exact time that I'm supposed to pick her up, and she says I pick her up too late because all the other kids are already gone. The parents pick their kids up like 10 to 15 minutes early before they even get off of school. And I mean, obviously like when she starts kindergarten, that's not gonna happen. They're gonna get out right at that certain time. But I mean, oh, I wish like the parents wouldn't pick their kids up so early because then I have to go pick mine up and then I'm there and she's like, you picked me up too early. And then if I pick her up right on time, there's only about like 10 kids left. And she's like, mom, you picked me up too late. I thought you were gonna forget about me. So it's like, I am never gonna win on what time I pick her up in preschool. So I'm just gonna go early and go get her because I made, the beef stew and I want to come home and eat came out really good and I want to come home and eat and then just like kind of clean up a little bit it's really pretty outside so before I even clean or anything I'm probably just gonna have them eat and then take them outside so they can ride their bike um but yeah so I'm gonna go get her how sweaty this girl is all right look she's so sweaty <laughs> Mama, Mama! I love you! Mama. This girl complains so much. You need to take your shoes off before you come in. You know that. Okay, come on, TJ. I'll leave them outside or no? No, you put them in your room. Oh. Come on. Mommy just left hers. 
smells so delicious. It smells so delicious. My beef soup smells delicious. I'm confident, honestly. Like, I'm confident in myself. This yesterday, when I fell down and daddy, and, and I cried and daddy said, what happened? <laughs> really? How did you like the soup? Mm, it's a little bit stinky, but I liked it. Be quiet, you ate your whole bowl. <laughs> she ate the whole bowl of beef stew. I was surprised. So now you like carrots? And you like potatoes? And you like meat? Oh really, is that so curly fry? Settle down, these kids just love to be getting hurt. Oh no 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 no! I'm making snow. Oh, what was that? <gasps> <laughs> so I guess I just uh, will start off by telling you guys our weekend plans because it is Friday and tomorrow's Saturday. So um, my husband and I will be married for four years on the 28th. We've been together for six years already, and we're gonna be married for four. <laughs> I know it doesn't really sound like a lot, but it's a lot to us, and I mean, it's it's an accomplish, accomplishment that each year you complete your marriage and going into a new year of your marriage, and I just, I'm so proud of us, and we came a long ways, and it's very exciting. Um, I am normally the one to plan what we're doing for our anniversaries or birthdays or anything, so this year he is planning our anniversary and we're gonna be going to the coast I just I'm kind of a little bit nervous cuz he never like plans anything I'm always planning I'm always the one like saying where I want to go and he knows that I like going to the beach and we have never gone out of the six years of us being together we've never gone anywhere alone without the kids um, like places like that so I'm really excited um, and also I'll be getting a new ring because we're gonna upgrade my ring so I'm excited about that as well I just um, I don't know I'm happy like I'm really happy and I can't wait for us to go away together um, I'm nervous though about leaving the kids I've no, I don't really leave them for a really long time if my husband and I ever go out on a date it's always like no more than three hours that we're gone so being gone an entire full day and night like I'm just so like I'm nervous but I know they're gonna be fine but uh yeah so that's gonna be our plans this weekend um I'm not sure if I'll vlog it because my husband doesn't like being vlogged and if I'm not gonna have the kids with me there's no reason for me to vlog I'll try that's all I can say is I'll try um but yeah so yeah, I thought I'd let you guys know what's going on this weekend. Uh, Saturday though, I think we're just gonna be here. Um, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Thumbs it up, thumbs it up. And also click the subscribe button to be a part of our fam. And I'll catch you guys in our next video. Bye everyone.